Hello everyone! Welcome to Nerea San channel! I'm a pro ballerina and today I'm going to be reacting to some ballet TikToks. I previously did a video similar to this and I said that you guys enjoyed watching it and listening to my thoughts on these viral ballet TikToks. So I hope you guys enjoy this video as well. So for today's video, I have a few very interesting videos that I got actually pretty surprised about them myself. But before starting this video, I wanted to announce that I added three new items to the MB store. <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw the items, but I haven't properly introduced them here on YouTube, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the insights of these products. The very first new item, as you can see, is the tote bag. By popular demand, the tote bag is on the Japanese store. Medium size, perfect to carry your items inside. And inside, we have a cup of hand towels this item is also brought by popular demand i know how much you guys use hand towels da -da -da -da. <laughs> the same one but in pink and the size as you can see is very convenient it's not too big or too small perfect for ballet class right we get sweaty in ballet class so it's good to have something to dry ourselves with the very last item i have here is the water bottle if you guys have seen most of my vlogs i carry this bottle around all day for rehearsals i love this water bottle because of its size it's not too big so it doesn't get too heavy and it also keeps the water very cool inside so it's perfect for the summer perfect for ballet class and rehearsals something that i always think about when choosing products for the mb store is i try to find the most useful things for you guys things that you would use in your normal life products that you guys need and would like to have an MB product with it so I hope you guys like these items I'm going to be leaving here click click if you want to find them and also if you have some more item requests that I still don't have on my store please let me know in the comments write them down below and I'll try my best to put them on the store for you guys so let's get going with the video here we go no way no way oh my gosh wow as a pro ballerina i can feel this pain it's not about doing the splits because as you can see it's a regular split but upside down what i'm concerned about is that knee this is how i got my hyper extension by doing lots of splits so my knees are very bendy that way so i feel like if i would do this i would probably blow up my knee <laughs> as long as she doesn't get hurt okay weird things dancers do well yeah so i definitely have seen students do this and some of the common things teachers tell them is you shouldn't do that i don't recommend standing on your feet like this without any support and also without any platform cushion or mat or something underneath i think this looks quite painful there are many ways to stretch your feet i don't think this is the best way to do it and if you don't do it correctly you can definitely get injured oh right okay so this is a slow-mo video which makes sense i also don't see myself doing this and i wonder how this ended because you can only see you know the part where she does the split but i think it would be very funny to see how she lands from that okay did you know ballerinas use rosing on their point shoes we coat almost our entire shoe before performing. The stage can be very slippery and this helps us not slip and fall. 
Yes, I thought this was interesting to share with you guys because this is something that ballet dancers do that not many people know about. It kind of reminds me to what gymnasts do before, you know, when they do the white powder in their hands before holding their instruments to do the gymnastic movements. I think this reminds me to that, not to sleep, not to fall. No, 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 no. Well, I have mixed feelings about this. All right. Um, I do love when dancers collaborate with animals and they take pictures or videos. I think it's very cute, but I feel like this is a little bit strange looks a little bit like she's doing her own thing and ignoring the horse in this case i wish that they had a little bit more connection i think that would make the picture or the video even better it's like a pas de deux, right in this case she is partnering with the horse so there has to be a little bit of a emotional attachment to it i think my respect to this dancer because photo shoots can be really stressful and on top of that adding a horse to it i think is quite of a challenge so well done for that yeah <laughs> wow. <laughs> so this TikTok is from a famous dancer Alex Wong and here he's partnering Isabella Boylston, principal of the ABT Ballet Company in America. In the New York subway you can find many different interesting things. As you can see here you get a free show by principal dancers. I do have to say that I'm quite shy for these kinds of things. It's quite of a challenge to dance in the subway. No. Okay, I agree. Wow, yes! I think this is a very interesting TikTok because it shows how you're not supposed to go on point and how you are supposed to go on point. Of course, after years of training, it becomes easier with proper instructions, right? If you have somebody next to you explaining how to go on point, same as Yamagai who got on point in the last video as you guys saw. So definitely you need some guidance if you're a beginner. Wow, yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, no way. Wow. She's really, really creative and she has some amazing TikToks and amazing reels on Instagram. So go follow her because she's really creative and she always comes up with amazing videos. This one, I think it's really interesting. The transition from the house to the street is seamless. I can see that she puts a lot of work into this video. Um, all right, when your favorite point shoes are well and truly dead. Wow. Yeah. So I do have to say that in my case, I hate new point shoes, especially gainers, because they are quite stiff and hard to break in. You just have to wear them over and over until the plastic bends, which it can take a while, and I usually get a lot of blisters from it. Um, so when I find the point shoes being dead, as we call them, like really, really soft, I rather wear them than new shoes. But in this case, I don't think it's quite safe because as you can see here, this foot, the shoe is completely destroyed. So definitely you shouldn't go on point if your shoe looks that way. Wow, here we go, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look how much the platform is bouncing. What? Yes, so here's Isabella Bolston again with her best friend, James. Um, they are both principal dancers from the ABT Ballet Company. And here they are doing a little section of the little swans. 
again, doing ballet outdoors is quite challenging and as you can see the platform is swinging so much, I would be really scared. Um, but again, they are pros, so they know what they are doing. They are so original and creative. Oh, oh, yeah, all right. These TikTok is from uh, Point Shoe Feeder, and as you can see, she shows how like having a bad fit of the point shoe can make your life really hard. <laughs> so it's definitely very important to find a point shoe that fits your foot. Like not all the point shoes will be good for you. There are many different factors that you need to think about when choosing a point shoe for yourself and probably you don't know about this so here you have a point shoe feeder who can help you as you can see there's a huge difference this is the last one. Oh my gosh oh. <laughs> yes She's a gymnast and she has a twin, they make TikToks together. You can see her leg strength, her back strength, her arm strength. But what I'm surprised about is her beautiful feet. Like she has beautiful ballerina feet and the way she lands on the shoe and she stands up on them, it's quite impressive. So well done! Okay, so those were the TikToks that I chose for this week's video. I have to say that posting on social media takes work, takes time, takes effort. I admire every single one of them for being an advocate of ballet on the social media. It's important to reach out to people so Bali is also more approachable, right? Like this video and channel Toroku Onegaishimasu, subscribe to Nerea san channel for more interesting videos, ballet vlogs, live story videos, there is great content coming up, big news coming up, so stay tuned! Don't forget to check the new items on the MV store, let me know your thoughts on them as well! Love you guys! Love! Bye bye!